Welcome to this deep dive into one of history's most infamous maritime disasters, the sinking of the Titanic. Today, we'll explore the fascinating story behind the ship and, through a simulation, witness its tragic fate unfold. The Titanic was the largest and most luxurious ocean liner of its time, built by the White Star Line and launched in 1912. Measuring over 269 meters in length and boasting state-of-the-art technology, it was nicknamed the Unsinkable Ship. But as we know, fate had other plans. On the night of April 14, 1912, while crossing the Atlantic, the Titanic struck an iceberg. The impact caused catastrophic flooding in multiple compartments, leading to its eventual sinking within hours. In this simulation, we will recreate the tragic sequence of events, illustrating how the unsinkable ship met its destiny beneath the freezing waters of the Atlantic. Over 1,500 passengers and crew lost their lives in this disaster. This tragedy led to major improvements in maritime safety, including regulations that require sufficient lifeboats and continuous radio monitoring. In 1912, an iceberg spelled disaster for the Titanic. But in a world shaped by climate change, that same scenario might look quite different. Today, icebergs in the Atlantic are fewer and smaller due to rising ocean temperatures. So, what if a submarine missile became the unexpected cause of the Titanic's sinking? Instead of an iceberg silently drifting into the ship's path, we imagine an alternate scenario. An unforeseen military exercise leads to a missile being launched beneath the dark Atlantic waters, with its trajectory locked on the Titanic. A single event, multiple perspectives. To truly understand the sinking of the Titanic, whether by iceberg or missile, we need to step into the shoes of different observers. In this simulation, We'll experience the disaster through various viewpoints, uncovering the fear, confusion, and chaos that unfolded in real time. As you can see, the initial damage seemed manageable, but the ship's design allowed water to spill over into adjacent compartments. This caused the Titanic to tilt forward, accelerating its descent into the ocean. Eventually, due to immense pressure and structural weakness, the ship split in half, with the bow sinking first, followed by the stern. The Titanic now lies at an astonishing depth, 3,800 meters beneath the surface. This is a world few have ever seen, a realm shaped by crushing pressure, 
perpetual darkness, and a silence that has lasted over a century. But to truly grasp what this depth means, let's view it from different perspectives. Down here, we enter the aphotic zone, a place where sunlight never reaches. The Titanic rests on a seabed covered in fine sediment, shaped by slow-moving currents. The temperature is close to freezing, yet life finds a way to exist even in this extreme void. At 3,800 meters, the pressure is nearly 380 times that at sea level. If a human body were to descend without protection, it would be instantly crushed. No diver could ever reach the wreck unaided. The only way to explore this world is with advanced submersibles. I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed this and believe in the value of these kinds of projects, consider subscribing. It helps keep this content alive and improves its quality.